The second talk will be AI GPGPU, post-COVID-19 trends and solutions. Let's see our agenda. Post-COVID-19 defense market needs, new exciting products, what it's cooking. Frost & Sullivan is a well-known market research company which provides reports for market status and trends. If we will look on the COVID-19 impact on the world GDP growth, we can see a recession expected during 2020. And as always, after recession, there is a spike during 2021. How we can make an advantage for this recession? We can use this recession time for IROT planning and new product development. So when spike will come, and it always come, we'll be ready with the new product for the new post-COVID-19 market. Which interesting market fields are identified by market research in post-COVID-19 world? Augment reality, UAVs, which is unmanned vehicles, smart soldiers, and man portable wearable devices. Let's look on airborne applications. Some of airborne applications require a number of displays. Some of them displays and camera resolutions. What will be the next growth area? The total number of pixels and displays continuously growing. The resolution of images continuously growing too. Increasing in industry rapidly. Manned crown vehicles, cars and aircrafts. Identifying market needs, image processing, object detection, tracking, classification, threat assessment. Objects are often partially obscured, occluded from visual imaging. Environmental factors and imaging artifacts like fog, rain, adverse lightning, disturbing our images. Enemy combinations of pedestrians can often fail to auto-identify and classify correctly. How we work around seven years ago? We used heavily CPUs. We need constantly add new features and algorithms. Image processing become more complex, high resolution cameras and high video throughputs. All this cause to CPU core starvation, which leads to increased power consumption, which leads to complex cooling solutions and CPU throttling. The question is, do we need to compromise? Let's see and compare two architectures of CPU and GPU. The CPU is task-oriented processor with serial processing and sophisticated complex core. The GPU processes multiple image data simultaneously, can leverage parallel processing, have a simple cores, but many of them, actually thousands of cores. So what we are looking for? After seeing market demands, we can clearly see that the market required small form factor systems, which is swap optimized, swap is the size, weight and power, parallel computing and variety of I.O. ATEX started its journey seven years ago with the NVIDIA Jetson based family. It was the first company which has introduced rugged NVIDIA based device, which is small form factor. With the time we become a preferred NVIDIA partner for the embedded market. AI and GPGPU systems. Let's present a product line for the GPGPU. From the right, you can see high performance embedded computers. You can see the A191, A196 and A195. This system based on three UVPX form factor. All this system, including Intel based SBC and Nvidia based GPGPU board. The GPGPU board is based on latest and greatest NVIDIA Turing Technology GPUs. In the middle, you can see a small form factor product line. This product line based on NVIDIA Jetson family. The A178 based on NVIDIA AGX Xavier. The A176 is very small form factor system based on NVIDIA TX2 and TX2i. And we will talk about the new one, the nano form factor system A179. This one will be really greatest product. AI and GPGPU boards. We are also developing a 3U GPGPU board based on NVIDIA architecture. The latest C530 supported NVIDIA Quadro architecture, T1000 and RTX 3000 GPUs. We have also XMC and PMC AMD based GPU boards. 
these boards perfect for real-time operating systems like VxWorks and Integrity. We are working on the new generation board, M599, which is based on the latest AMD E9171. The next line is a frame grabbers. The first one is XMC frame grabber with eight simultaneously composite inputs, which is low power. The second one is XMC digital and analog frame grabber, which takes analog outputs and inputs with the low power consumption. A193 GP GPU system. This system actually based on the Intel-based SBC with the latest Xeon D and Xeon E processors and C530 based on the latest Turing and NVIDIA architecture and Quadro T1000 GPU. As we know, every GP GPU system based on Intel platform always based on SBC and GP GPU. The system coming with the cold plate cooled solution and convection cooled. We are also providing developer kits for the software development, which includes cable breakout and the power supply. This is high-level block diagram of A193 system. You can see in the middle SBC with mounted frame grabbers 577 or 571 on board SSD. You can see C530, which connected through the PCI Express, and you can see the power supply and 2.5 inch internal SSD storage. The next product is A178 Thunder. It's rugged GPGPU, funless AI supercomputer. This supercomputer is actually based on the latest NVIDIA AGX system on module. This is very interesting product. Has NVMe SSD with quick arrays and secure arrays, removable SD storage. This product is environmentally sealed. Let's take a look on this product in close up. This is A178 product. See how small is it? You can see the circular connector on the front panel. You can see four SMA connectors. These connectors for the high speed HDSDI inputs. The system is very small, environmentally sealed, and stands for the MIL standard 810. One of the interesting interfaces for this system is the high speed interfaces. This system has 10 gigabit Ethernet interface, USB 3, and two additional display ports. So, on this system, you have three independent video outputs. This is amazing. Let's take a close look on A178 block diagram. You can see this A178 based on NVIDIA Jetson Xavier AGX model. A lot of I.O. available. Gigabit Ethernet port, USB, HDMI, UART, discrete scan buttons, serial ports, and amazing high-speed interfaces, USB 3, two display ports, composite inputs, NVMe SSD, and 10 gigabit Ethernet. A176 Cyclone. This is the next small form factor GP GPU systems. This one is based on NVIDIA TX2 and TX2 industrial model. We have a SATA SSD, a lot of memory storage, video capture device, HD SDI input, H.264 hardware encoder, a lot of composite inputs, variety of I.O., Gigabit Ethernet, UART, USB, discretes, composite inputs, SDI, and Canvas. Let's take a close look to the A176 system. Let's take a look and compare two systems. One is A178 and the second one, A176. Can you see the difference? Very small one. This small one, but it's very powerful. It's entirely rugged, environmentally sealed, with a variety of I.O. This one is much more powerful. But this one is really swap size, weight, and power optimized. Let's take a close look on A176 block diagram. You can see Jetson TX2 and TX2i system on module. Variety of I.O. interfaces, gigabit Ethernet, USB, UART, discrete ports, CAN bus, and DVIs and two expansion modules. These expansion modules, we can use them for the eight simultaneously composite inputs and one HDSDI input. Let's cover the markets for this amazing product. This product can be used for the UAVs, for the signal processing, for autonomous robotics, intelligent video analytics, image capture in aerospace industry, persistent video surveillance, UGVs. 
I can tell you uh, about many projects we did for the aerospace and defense industry uh, since it's restricted by but I picked uh, two projects actually which are very interesting and I'm very proud of one of them we did for Boeing it's a176 system this system for unmanned electric air cargo air vehicle drone would eventually be able to deliver up to 20 227 kilogram of cargo within 15 or 30 kilometer radius Let's see a short movie. When I saw it take off, I was inspired by it. This team of Boeing engineers was able to do the impossible and deliver a prototype. In a matter of three months, we took a concept from a piece of paper all the way to a flying vehicle. So this is an octocopter, it's fully electric on some Boeing custom design batteries. The goal is to grow into a uh, large-scale cargo platform. So if you extend the range and you extend the payload a little bit, when you think about delivering 250 to 500 pounds over a 10 or 20 mile radius, you can change the way that the world connects, you can change the way that we deliver goods. You've really got a convergence of technologies right now in terms of hybrid electric propulsion, vertical takeoff and landing, and autonomy that is going to unlock air travel in areas that we haven't seen it before. So it becomes a test bed for future businesses such as maybe a electrically a vertical takeoff cargo. This is my dream job of trying to come up with something new that the industry doesn't have yet. So it's exciting. The company really is trying to change the future of the world. They're, they are driving and on the leading edge and pushing the envelope, but doing it in a smart way. Boeing is at the cutting edge of technology in aerospace. We have a chance here to really change air travel, and we'll look back on this day as a first step in that journey. The next project we will present is based on A176. We did it for NASA. This is the first project we've done for space. Low Earth Orbit Flight Test on Inflatable Decelerator, Lofted, Delivery of Heavy Payloads, Experiment, experiment Equipment, and People to Destination with Atmosphere. Lofted acts as a giant brake by deploying a large inflatable aeroshell and deployable aeroshell protected by flexible heat shield before entering the atmosphere. Which application we targeting with A176, A178, and actually all other small form factor GPGPU systems? GPGPU rendering, navigation and maps, CUDA-based algorithms, image processing, which are CUDA-accelerated, radars, flight simulators, video recorders and streamers, surveillance, autonomous vehicles and drones, smart cities, GPGPU extensions to existing systems. Let's talk about what is cooking right now at the iTech R&D department. A179. It's a new nanoform factor GPGPU. It's actually AI supercomputer. It has a nanoform factor, about 17 watt max, based on NVIDIA NX O latest nano. Weight is less than 500 grams. Look on the size, it's very small, it's 10 by 5 centimeter. We are providing software and hardware add-ons for this system. Which market we are targeting? smart soldiers, wearable devices, avionics, naval, ground mobiles, UAV, and of course, industrial market can benefit from this product too. Smart agriculture, drones, and surveillance. Let's take a look on the form factor of this system. This will be actually very interesting. Remember this tool? So this one, A178, based on NVIDIA AGX Xavier, this one is a very small form factor based on NVIDIA TX2 and TX2i. How small this small form factor system is, right? Now let's talk about A178. So A176 is very small, right? But we want to target to wearable device. So how about this one? This one is truly nano form factor. It's perfect for the wearable device. It's perfect for the UAVs, drones, and many other defense applications. 
Let's take a close look to the A179 Lightning Nano AI supercomputer. It's based on NVIDIA Xavier NX and Nano, variety of I.O. available, Gigabit Ethernet, USB, MIPI, four, actually four MIPI CSI video inputs. It's amazing. One HD SDI, serial, discrete, CAN bus, USB 3 interfaces. We have M.2 for SSD, NVMe SSD, and removable micro SD. Actually, we're also taking PCI Express four lanes to the output connectors. This way, we can create a docking station and chain several systems together. This way, we can increase performance each time by a factor of 2, 4, 8, and so on. C530. This one is GPGPU3 UVPX AI board. We're creating also an option for SOSA US market. This 3 UVPX board, based on the latest NVIDIA Turing architecture, RTX 3000 and NVIDIA Quadro T1000. Four video output channels, PCI Express with 16 lanes. This is very powerful board. N599, based on the latest Radeon E9171 Polaris architecture. This board is perfect for real-time operating systems, like VxWorks Integrity. Windows and Linux, of course, also support it. Up to four 4K video outputs. This one is really great board. Starting from 2021, we want to provide software add-ons. We think that the software add-ons can benefit a lot to our customers. Let's take, for example, a health system. These software add-ons can constantly monitor the health of our boards and systems. AI encode. We can video encode stream from the external cameras, encode in H.264 or H.265 format and record it locally or remotely. We can also stream this video to the outside board. AI detect. We're providing a software add-on for the customers which using AIs, a libraries and code example for the object detection, object classification, tracking, and motion detection for defense market. Dolphin, this is a PCI intelligent network. It provides an API for the PCI Express DMA transfers between the boards. We also entering the phase, open avionic environment for all military airborne platform types. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy my presentation. You can contact me directly to my email address or to sales department.